Where is the lawsuit right now? You know, again, Dan, a lot of good things are going to come out for me in this lawsuit. Um, and, and the facts are going to come out like I've tried to present today for the last time. I'm, and, you know, my son Richard said this to me the other day. He said, Dad, why are you going on Dan Patrick? I said, and, uh, not to patronize you. I said, I like him. He has a great show. Uh, all the guys at Indian Creek listened to him. And I said, he has a great show. And I'm just going to, I'm going to give him the facts. He said, Dad, nobody cares. Get on with your life. You're not going to coach again. Get on with your life. You've, you've coached in three national championship games. You've been to seven final fours. You're coaching the Knicks and the Celtics. Why don't you just be happy and get on with your life? And you know what? He's right. He's 100% right. But, but would you believe you, Coach, if, if, if I took you out of this and you're just looking at this as Coach X, would you believe you? Absolutely not. I would say, wait a second, just – Three years ago, the assistant coach gets in trouble in a dormitory. I said, no, but the dormitory is my brother-in-law. It's, it's the love of my life. I built it in his name. They don't care that. Forget that. And then this breaks? Come on. We can't believe this guy. Well, you know, somebody said, what about your legacy? I said, my legacy is every 30 coaches out there coaching. My legacy is the players I've coached. You know, they said, how much do you miss it? I you know, I, I coach a little bit differently than most college coaches. And I'm not saying I'm better, but it's just different. I take guys at 8 o'clock in the morning and play a development. I take four guys, 8 to 8.45. I put them through a workout for 45 minutes on play a development of all skills of offensive basketball. Then from 9 to 9.45, 10 to 10.45, 11 to 11.45, I do that. I break for exercise. The afternoon, I practice two and a half hours. I make my recruiting calls. I go home and pass out. I've done this for 30 plus years. Do you think I miss it? Is it my passion? I, I don't. I, I don't know what to do at seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, ten o'clock, eleven o'clock. So I, I miss it terribly. Have you that released the, the polygraph results? Did they, yes, you gave those to the Washington and, Post. Yes, okay. I released it, but nobody cares. They, 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 nobody really cares about it. So, it, like my son said. Dad, nobody cares. Why don't you just get on with your life? It's true. He really it is. is. He's a 35-year-old. No, he's, right. he's right. And and Richie's right. I, I don't think people care anymore. They care if you come back, Coach. I don't think they're going to care. Even if you win your lawsuit, I don't think people are going to care. Um, right. I, I think they like the details, the salacious details there. There's strippers in there and paying recruits or money, transfers, agents, shady people. I think we just sort of accept that that's college basketball, college athletics here. And the only... The only time that people are going to care again is if you get another job. I think that's just the, the Well, Dan, I do want to truth. say one thing. Yeah. I do want to say one thing. I know from the bottom of my heart that Jim Laranega is innocent. I, I know that. I don't know about the other people involved. I don't have any information. But I know Jim Laranega is innocent in my eyes, in my heart. Mm -hmm. But I would tell you that 90% of college basketball is clean. And I would have said that when I first started 40 years ago, 90%. But like in the law, in the law practice, in in with prosecutors, with dentists, with every profession, Wall Street. There's yes, Wall Street. There, there's ten percent that's not, and you can turn on billions and it'll make your head spin, and, <laughs> and you may say, but this may not be television. This may, there may be some validity to all of this. Do you so think that? I don't, do you think this past year is going to be the lead paragraph of your obituary? I think in two years everything will come out, and they'll say. Man, that guy was really railroaded out of his business, and and then nobody will care. It'll last a day, and nobody will care. Uh, you know, I, I my, like Richard says to me, he said, Dad, we all know I worked for you. Your assistant coaches know what you're all about. Your family would just let it go. And, and he said, when it comes out, you're innocent. We're going to say we already knew it, and then nobody's going to care. So just, just forget about it. So it'll come out that I'm innocent. It'll come out that Jim Laranaga is innocent. Fortunately, he still has a job, but it'll all come out. Every, everything will come out. The thing that you have to say is what are we trying to get by all of this? What is the FBI spending all this high skill time doing for what purpose? What, what's the purpose behind this? Isn't this the job of the NCAA? Well, I think that they accidentally stumbled upon this is what happened. And then the NCAA is just going to take all the information from the FBI and then they're going to you know, levy their punishments here. That, that's how this works. The FBI, yeah. I mean, the NCAA is a skeleton crew. You know that. 
Uh, the, you yes. Know, every, everybody else does the you know, Yahoo Sports does the dirty work. The FBI does the dirty work. Then the NCAA comes in on their you know their white horse and says, okay, we we stand for justice and the uh, student athlete and all that stuff. All right. In two years, when you're you know exonerated, then maybe you can break your moratorium on calling into shows again, and you can you can join <laughs> us again. You're Mr. you're my last show, Dan. My last show. The guys, you know. <laughs> Everybody enjoys your show. You're a great guy. And um, I, I told you the truth. Uh, and I'll, I'll, my last comment will be, I've never given a player $5 in my lifetime. I never will. I don't believe in it. I believe in working your tail off to be a great basketball player, the likes of Terry Rozier, the Celtics, Donovan Mitchell, Gorky Zhang, Russ Smith, who was a two-star athlete, became a first-team college All-American. I'm, there's guys out, like, out there now like Jay Wright and Tony Bennett, who are perfect examples of what a college basketball coach should be. They do it the right way. I believe in all the principles that they have, and there's a lot of great things in college basketball right now. And uh, my son's one of them. He's going to be a rising star in the game, and I'll spend my time rooting for him. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.